and welcome all you grains of sand. I'm the Hourglass CJ Metal and today I'm counting down the minutes of Casting the Circle by High Priestess. No, this is actually not a stoner doom metal album. It's psychedelic doom metal mixed with psychedelic rock. Yeah, this is going to be one trippy journey. Released this year of 2020, this all-female trio plays a doomy psychedelic style of music that is sprinkled with a heavy hand of Middle Eastern influence. And all of that wraps up the occultism lyrics. So all together we have psychedelic, Middle Eastern, and occultism. If that sounds weird, well that's because it kind of is weird. Combining psychedelic and Middle Eastern music would have never occurred to me because why would anyone do that? But I have to admit, these girls do manage to find a sweet spot between the two. Now while this album is predominantly psychedelic, the band knows when to add the Middle Eastern flair to help spice things up a little bit and to convey like a different sound as well. This album actually reminds me a lot of High Priest of Saturn's album, Son of Earth and Sky. Both feature female clean vocals and both share a very psychedelic tone. I didn't think I'd actually find a similar album to that one, but here I am reviewing an, an album that's similar to it. You never know what you're going to find. Now, this album is not without its flaws, which has to include the repetitive usage of the Middle Eastern rhythm that the band uses throughout. It's that same generic Middle Eastern rhythm or music or sound or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm sure you've all heard it before. Like, you know, that desert theme is what you could call it, I, I suppose. Now the second negative is how slow and kind of dull some sections are on here. I mean, slow music isn't an easy thing to master. You have to keep things interesting, otherwise the listener falls off. And I felt that some parts on here could have used uh, maybe like either a little more energy or creativity or something because there's just some parts on here where it's just like all right you know this is all cool and whatever but I'd really like to keep moving along here. I mean, overall, this isn't a bad album by any means. It's something different and kind of fresh, actually. It isn't just another Black Sabbath clone. I did enjoy the different approach these ladies took with metal, and there is some really good stuff on here, I have to admit. It's all for that reason that I thought this was a good album, and that if you're looking for a psychedelic doom metal album with some Middle Eastern flair, then I found the album for you. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to do the same. And of course, as always, I will see you at the next review.